one of she mm-hmm. beats. Ah, dear me, you beat me, could yeah, I should be beating your you? children. How well how how were I? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I say, until you become a parent, you don't know what your parents went through True. concerning food. And that child keeps saying or doing those things. And you'll be like, ah, this child. Mm-hmm. You understand? Sometimes you might want to lean towards a child. Because you always used to put me in trouble and they used to have your side. So I thought they, they prepared her. Many times when people pray for you to have more children and you're a bit hesitant, the next thing that comes is don't worry. God will provide money for you to take care of them. Money. I know money is important, but it is only a part of it. Money worries, but what worries me the most is the ability to properly take care of those children, being present. Because as I am like this, there are days I feel like running away. (laughs) There are days of, oh yeah, both of you, out of my room. And then I begin to feel bad, like, am I really a good mother? What is common these days is to see people have two children, maximum three. But on the show today, I have someone who has four of them. My own very sister, like my sister. And you see, I've never really seen her appear overwhelmed because there are days I even take two of mine to add to her four. (laughs) And she chests it and still remains the meal. And she knows that she cannot say the same thing that she wants to bring her own for to my own too because I will be children that day. You're welcome at the EVUN show. I am Epulom. Auntie Yamo, you're welcome on the EVUN show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> See Auntie Yemi speaking in English. Say the moment she you know how you are. How? Growing oh, up, you know how you are. I was calm, I was gentle. Eh? Yes, and I still am. I'm, I, I'm calm. You see that part, I am, and I'm still am. It didn't go well because <laughs> lies, lies, lies always don't go so smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, she Good. beats. Ah, dear me, you beat me, could yeah, I should how be beating were you, your children. How were you growing up? I should be beating no, your children. No, how were you growing up? How well were, were I? <laughs> how <laughs> were you growing up? You were actually mischievous. Hey, me? You were naughty. I uh-uh. okay, can go on and on. Oh, oh so they now gave you the liberty to try to abuse your younger ah, sister. I tried to abuse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I even remembered something this morning. Kilo Do you two. remember a time? That I lied to you, maybe you offended me that dad was calling you and he wasn't. On your way going, I was saying, hey, boom, is a lie. Daddy is not calling you. Daddy is not call-. You eventually went and I was beating that day. Hey. <laughs> you remember? It's with me. I can't remember, but that was hey. <laughs> Let's get to the topic of today. Okay, okay. So, uh, like I said in the intro, she's my sister, biological sister. Mm-hmm. And I call her a superwoman because. There are some things that she does I can't. First off is having four kids. <laughs> I cannot. And you know, as I speak, my two children are over at her place. She will take care of them, <laughs> make it six. So let me start by, um, did you plan for the uh, from the onset to have four? Actually, we didn't. When I was younger, I used to say I want to have four children. But we didn't plan for four. We actually planned for three. Mm. But the first one came along and... It, and he's is, is, is only cute, <laughs> my baby. He's, he's cute. We thank God for it. And we are grateful. Mm. So, but that wasn't the plan from the onset. So you have four. You have a job. You have other... How, how are you able to deal with that? With the grace of God. Yes, the grace of God. What are the practical ways you've been able to deal um, with that? It's the grace of God. And um, like I used to say, there's no blueprint to parents. And we learn along the way. Sometimes we make mistakes mm-hmm. and we learn from our mistakes. But I think the main thing I do is when you work with people, you manage people. So you need to have people management. You need to know how to plan. I think planning is the top thing. If you have children, you have a job, 
Mm-hmm. Then how do you go about it? Mm-hmm. Once you have them, you know that, okay, this is where I'm at now. What do I do? So I think what, what I do is, I'll just say it's planning. Okay, if I'm going to work, what do I do? Number one, I have timetable for my children's food. Mm. You, under, you understand that? So I plan ahead. What do we need tomorrow? Even if I don't have it in the house, I know I have to get it mm-hmm. before then. Then I explore the help I can get. I have someone. No, no, yeah, let's, let's get back. Let's take it one step at a okay. time. Uh, the food part because is one of the major headaches for yes. women in households. Yes. Like you wake up in the morning, you are okay, you see rice again because <laughs> it just looks as though all we have is rice, yam, yes. maybe potato and beans and how how do you do it, it with fact, food? Sometimes I say until you become a parent, you don't know what your parents went through. True. Concerning food. Because mm-hmm. you now start thinking that time when they say it's rice, you say, ah, rice, rice, every day. Every day. You understand? But what I did was, you know, according to each person's capability, you just try and have a timetable, especially for when they are going to school. Mm-hmm. On Monday, you know, some people say plantain and eggs. If it's egg, uh, rice you can afford, put it there. On Tuesday, you just have your timetable. And I try to mix and match. Let me use that mm-hmm. word so that the children don't get. Board. Board. If we are having, like, I do rice, we have yam and egg, sometimes it's porridge. I even do bully mm. sometimes in the house. So you just try to, I won't want to say this is how your timetable should, should be. be. You also talked about seeking all the help you can get. Because mm-hmm. in this part of the world, uh, we feel it's uh, some form of accolade to be a superwoman. You actually won. I refer to you as one. <laughs> yes, you're my sister, but I actually appreciate the things you do, the kind of market you go on my behalf. <laughs> that I cannot even. I That's can't part go. of the planning, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Because I like to buy my. We, we buy our things in, in bulk. bulk mm-hmm. So that when you have them at home, your mind is settled. But you know, everybody might not be able to do that. So that's why we are saying what we're saying. But um, um, help. Help. Getting what one thing I like to do again is if I have the money to buy an appliance, I buy it mm. so that it helps me. You understand? Like when last did I wash? It's you don't not, have to macho everything. Hey, I don't have to. Then for four children, you can imagine the number of clothes. Then before you know, this one will say, I've, I poured water on my clothes, it has changed it. So you have a lot. So if you can, the help you can get, like I have, I don't have the house help. But number one, my husband sometimes his clothes go to the dry cleaners. So that's off me. Uh, the children, we have somebody that takes them to school mm-hmm. and brings them back mm-hmm. home. Mine is just to monitor, mm-hmm. you understand? And in the house, you know, just to prepare the food once in a while and things like and that. And honestly, if you need a house help, you should get one. Yes, yes, I'm not against Yeah, of course. Yes. I, I just needed to throw that in because... Yes. And if men are listening, your wife doesn't have to do everything. Every, no, no. Everything. Mm-hmm. Because even with the help we're talking about, my next question to you was going to be, are there times you felt overwhelmed <laughs> and just feel you could have an escape from being a mother for a period of time? <laughs> yes, sometimes it can be overwhelming. Are there times you felt overwhelmed hmm. and just feel you could have an escape from being a mother for a period of time? <laughs> yes, sometimes it can be overwhelming. You know, this one comes, maybe you are sleeping, this child comes to report. Then sometimes you are just tired. I don't feel like cooking. At home, you know, sometimes when I get home from work, I'll be like, well, I'm not cooking today. Mm-hmm. I want to rest. I was like, I'll stop myself. <laughs> I'll stop myself. <laughs> then the children can maybe make noodles for themselves or eat conflicts. You understand? So you don't have to be macho about it. It gets overwhelming sometimes. Sometimes you need space for yourself. You just want to be alone. But the thing is understanding that, okay, this is my reality. How do I work around it? Then if you need to rest, rest. If you need some time, some time for yourself, get that time for yourself. Mm. so that you don't get overwhelmed by everything and uh, i think for people who are setting out to get into marriage i think you should do it let your husband learn it on time 
that you are not mm. macho. Let yes, him know, yes, yes, yes. not just by words and actions. Leave some things undone. <laughs> yes, because reason so that is, he doesn't leave everything to you. What you start with is what mm. he will expect you to continue don't with. Don't start what you can't. Don't finish. start what you cannot finish. At the end of the day, old ass wives begin to tell you it's not good to be macho. <laughs> Before it used to be, ah, that woman is hardworking. Yes, She's a good at mothers. Our mothers. Uh, don't kill yourself because you know you still have some responsibilities. You to go to work. Even mm. if a full housewife has a lot to deal with. A lot. A lot to deal with. Now let's go to uh how you deal with different children, their personalities, and not having a favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like you said, children have different personalities and Sometimes one of your children might just do something that would tug at your heart strength and that child keeps saying or doing those things and you'll be like, ah, oh, this child, mm -hmm. you understand. Sometimes you might want to lean towards a child because maybe the way they behave, but every child, every child has their strengths, every child has his or her own strength. Or weakness mm -hmm. you understand so you should know each child treat them individually mm -hmm. this child is different recognize their strengths mm -hmm. and their weaknesses and know them for it if you know them for it sometimes you might want to be like ah, why do you not like I tend to but sometimes I just like you call yourself to order mm -hmm. because they are everyone has their own weakness and everyone has their own strengths so you shouldn't judge children based off of their weaknesses or even try to compare or, them co no sometimes you might want to think why can't you but you don't you know mm. i pray god continues to yes you us. remember there was a time that our mom called us yes. you know mom she called us she had a meeting with us we are five girls and she called a meeting <laughs> sort of and uh, she was saying that she wants to have a discussion with us that uh, and then she went on to ask who she loves the most amongst all of us, mm -hmm. right? She started from, and the way she would do it, she would always start from the eldest yeah. to the youngest. But you see the beautiful thing that happened that day was, two people or three people could not mention mm -hmm. one name. Like each person went around calling different the people's names because it would have been a problem if I called yeah, I you because you always <laughs> used to put me in trouble and they used to have your side. So I felt they, they preferred her. <laughs> Over because you know, yeah. I, but that was one beautiful thing that happened that day. We could not chorus a name in unison, mm -hmm. right? Although, because as we grow, when they discipline you, there's this tendency to feel my parents don't like don't me. Like, yes. At some point, I felt that ah, maybe my mom is not my mom. Mm -hmm. And I used to go to the corner to say, Well, like oh, me, my, like they will soon take me to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> they are not my parents, they are not my parents. Everybody just has that experience, yes. you know. But the good thing is, our parents did not give that um chance to make and that's we i enjoy the kind of sisterhood that we have because yes. when when we go outside and we see some <laughs> we see, all, all we see siblings. how siblings behave oh. we you're like really mm -hmm. were you better by the same people like mm. okay so this leads to my next question we know that they have different personality how are you there how are you able to be there for each one of them. It's so, it's one thing not to tilt or not to have a favorite child, but you know that you are you have your own personality. Having to deal with four different personalities, how are you able to be present for each child's needs? What I try to do is give a listening ear to each child. Mm. And when I get back, I make sure I talk to each of them. Mm. Because now today I might talk to and thank God for God. Maybe God reminds me because sometimes I'll be like, I have not spoken to this person. So I ask after the person, how has your day been? How was school? And I show my emotions. Mm. I tell them I love them. When I maybe <clears throat> I didn't listen to an explanation well and I discipline one person. If I'm wrong, I tell them I'm sorry. Okay, did you know why I did what I did? Mm. And she explains if I'm wrong. I don't, I don't you admit hold it. back saying sorry, I, I mm. admit I'm sorry. I I always ask them how their day went, what did this person do, what did yeah, what did your teacher tell you, and so on and so forth. Mm. So that's a, that has helped me, and I know that we have a bond. Mm. That's good. So finally, before I let you go, would you say you're doing a good job? How would you rate yourself? <laughs> 
God is helping us. <laughs> so Mommy Gio, rate yourself, please. Uh, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to because uh, if I say, but God is helping us, at least our children go out and people tell uh, they are doing well, they are good children and so on and so forth. Yes, yeah, so I understand the humility part. And of course, I understand that uh, we all are striving to be better, to mm. be better moms and all of that. But we must be able to commend ourselves too. Mm. If yes, mm -hmm. for me, you are doing a good job. Your children Thank come you. to stay over at my place. And because given the person that I am, I always give a caveat that if you come, you are not, I will beat you. <laughs> and they still want to come. <laughs> and they still want to come. I will beat that you. Shows you're a good mom so uh, yeah. you're a good mom. You're doing a good job. Yeah. And you've heard it out there. First, leave your comments what aspects did we not touch or what contributions do you have on how to really take care of children this time and age whether you have one whether you have two whether you have three whether you have four or you have five or you even want to have more tips on on being a good parent the, like you said there are no blueprints so we all learn every day let us learn from each other blast off the comment section thank you so much for coming you're welcome thanks for having me and bye -a. bye Money worries me, but what more? But what worries me more is okay. I am talking about my own sister, my sister. G -g 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 -g. You see, even my own two oh, have jumped. Please give me my phone. Sorry, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She sees romance and sex with you as an obligation. It's because when you open the factory, we have to hold it a while. Ongba. Ongba. is that expensive and you just expect the woman to come and kiss you put you, ah, ah. in my mind i was like how is this man's wife coping because me I, I will not kiss you again honestly and guess what before i even get to my destination my husband is calling so babe how many cups of water are we going to put in the cup in the pot to make so 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 and so where is shemi loris ah, it's in the house all they need is within. Can you find your way? The next thing is to insert. The next thing, insert. You don't know about what they call foreplay for setting the woman up for it. When did the help become the donkey? It, the woman is there to help you. That means the house chores are yours. So the woman, why are you coughing? <laughs>